My name is Jeff Neal. I'm a career coach, and I help people discover the right career for them and then actually go get that job. How important is the resume when you're applying for a job? The resume is really important because it represents you. It's often the first presentation of your skills and abilities to an employer before they actually have a chance to talk with you. What are some mistakes that people make with their resumes? So some of the biggest mistakes that, that I've seen that people make on the resume is they include everything, right? As an employer, I don't care what you did 20 years ago or 30 years ago. You may have been a star at something that you did 25 years ago, but as an employer, I'm thinking, this has no relevancy to me. You've changed over 25 years. The world has changed over 25 years. So people include far too much information in their resumes. My recommendation is that they only go back about 15 years. Are there any other mistakes? Another completely unforgivable mistake is grammatical errors, bad punctuation, and spelling errors. When I see a resume that has you know, more than one error, it's done. Right? We live in a world where resumes are expected to be perfect. So word processing has spell check on it. There's just no reason to have something misspelled. How important is a candidate's social media presence? Yeah, in today's world, almost all hiring managers and HR staff will look for you online before they interview you. So your online profile can actually either help you get an interview or it can stop you from getting an interview. So for your social media, you want to be really careful, particularly when you're looking for a job. You want to be really careful about what pictures you're showing and what conversations you're posting is public information. You also want to do a Google search on your own name. Assuming a candidate gets an interview, how do you help them to prepare for it? So the way I help candidates prepare for interviews is I, I have them take the job advertisement, right? They can get the job advertisement if it's posted online or a job description from the HR office. And to go through it and simply circle what are the skills and abilities that are required to do that kind of job. And to take an eight and a half sheet of paper and make three columns. And in the first column, list the key skills and abilities that are required to do that position. And then in the second column, list where they've used those skills and abilities in different roles in their career. And then in the third column, to actually create stories that demonstrate how they've used those skills in those different companies.